Here's another example of a related rate problem. Water runs into a conical tank at the rate of 9 feet cubed per minute. The tank stands point down and has a height of 10 feet and a base radius of 5 feet. How fast is the water level rising when the water is 6 feet deep? Okay, so let's go ahead and sketch a um, make a sketch of what this looks like. And so we have a, well, a conical tank is basically a cone and it's point down, so we essentially have an upside down cone. And so here's our radius of five feet. And we have a height of 10 feet. So this thing must look something like this. Okay, so there's our cone. Now water is going into the tank at 9 feet cubed per minute. And so you have to imagine this thing is filling up with water, and then at some point, and we'll see it's about right here, we are actually six feet deep. Okay, so the next thing we need is we need to know, or basically we need to come up with an equation that relates all this information. And so we got to think about, all right, we have a cone and there's not a lot, actually a lot of equations we know about a cone. We have one for volume and we also have one for um, surface area. And considering we're working with volume, we might as well use that equation or that formula. So what's the volume of a cone? Well, volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. So that's something you'll remember from geometry. Okay, so now that we have this information here, uh, we would, we're going to take the derivative with respect to time. So the derivative of volume is dv dt Okay, now this one-third pi, that's just a constant, so we're going to just throw that out in front. Pi over 3. Okay, now we have a product in here. We have the first, which is r squared, times the derivative of the second, which is dh dt, plus the second, which is h, h times the derivative of the first, which is 2r dr dt. Okay, so let's put in, let's figure out what we have here. We have dv dt, which is, it's coming in, it's increased. So because the water's coming in, it's increasing at nine feet cubed per minute. Let's see here, r, do we have an r? Um, Right now we don't have an R, because the R is the radius at this moment here. We can probably figure that one out. We'll work on that one a little bit later. Um, H, that's six feet. Let's see here, dH dt, that's what we're looking for. And then dR dt. Well, we don't have the rate that the radius is changing, so we got some uh, a lot of unknowns here. So it appears that the way this formula is set up and how, the, how we looked at it right now, um, we're going to have a hard time finding it. So we're going to need another piece of information. And so that information is going to come from the idea that when you have a cone based on the radius and the height of the cone, as this water level is rising, the ratio of r to h must stay the same. So we know that the ratio of r to h 
is always going to be 5 over 10. So that ratio is always going to stay the same. Now, if we only needed r, that would be easy enough because we could just say r over 6 equals 1 half, which would make r 3. Easy enough. But we also need dr dt, which we don't have that either. That's not going to, well, we could maybe figure it out from that. But why don't we do this? Instead of trying to figure that out from this little equation, let's go ahead and rewrite this to be r is 1 half h, multiply each side by h, and substitute that in for this. Okay, so we're going to end up, so if our original volume is 1 third pi r squared h, and we're going to let r equal 1 half h. So now we have a volume of 1 third pi times 1 half h squared times h. And so what we've done is instead of having an equation that's based off of v, r, and h, we now have an equation or formula that's based off of just v and h. And we've already looked at this. We know we need dv dt. We know we're going to need h and dh dt is what we're looking for. So this one is actually going to have all the information or we will have all the information we need for that. Now please remember in future questions that involve a cone that this one half h only is based on this particular cone. If the radius or height ever changes then that ratio might be different. But anyways, now let's go ahead and uh, work on this. So our volume, let's clean this up a little bit. We have one third pi so 1 half squared is 1 fourth h squared times h. So our volume is now, what is it, pi over 12 h cubed. And this is going to be much easier to work with. So now we can take the derivative with respect to time. So our volume is going to be dv dt equals pi over 12 and then the derivative of h cubed is 3h squared dh dt. Okay, so let's see here. dv dt, we already figured that, that's 9. So we have 9 equals, all right, we have 3 pi over 12, which we'll be able to reduce to pi over 4 here soon h is um, 6, so that's 6 squared, and then dh dt is what we're looking for. All right, so we have 9 equals pi over 4 times 36 dh dt. Four goes into 36 nine times, so we get nine equals um, pi times nine, dh dt, and we divide each side by pi over nine. So we'll divide this side by pi nine, pi nine. So we're gonna end up with dh dt is um, one over pi, and that's the rate that the height is increasing, so that is in feet per minute. Oh, let's get a decimal equivalence, and it's it. Uh, and of course, if you have a test without a calculator, like either a test in class or the AP exam, then of course, that's just the answer you leave it as. But since we have a calculator right next to us, let's go ahead and take 1 divided by pi, which is approximately 0.318 feet per minute. Okay, so here's our answer. But anyways, if we have this, I mean, this is a big tank, 10 feet deep and 5 feet radius, but if water's coming in at 9 feet cube per minute and as it's going up now of course at first it's rising much 
faster because there's not much volume down here, but as it keeps on getting bigger and bigger, the rate that it keeps on increasing gets slower and slower and slower. So when it's six feet deep, it is only going 0.318 feet per minute. 